Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The Ultimate Team community confuses me sometimes, especially when it comes to determining whether some SBCs are good or bad value. And of course, we all play this game differently, so we have contrasting opinions all the time on these sorts of things. But there's one new SBC that was dropped yesterday that seems really popular that I don't really understand why. I want to talk about that and talk about the other content that we had. It was a big SBC day yesterday. But what does that mean for today? What does that mean for the market and places where we can make coins right now? And just the game in general as Future Stars continues on. And I think a lot of us are ready, maybe ready for it to be over. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about yesterday's content, which, as we mentioned, was very SBC-centric. We're going to go to the Challenges tab first for what seems to be a weekly drop of UEFA marquee matchups on Mondays. This seems to be the day they're dropping this SBC now. Past couple of weeks, it's either been the women's or the men's UEFA marquee matchups, and that was the same thing this week. Of course, they featured the Champions League games that happened this week. We've got Champions League on deck again today on Tuesday with live card action back again with the with one of these games, Inter and Atletico Madrid, along with the PSV Dortmund game, and then on Wednesday, we will have Napoli, Barcelona, Porto, and Arsenal for the live game. So, there are games upcoming. These are some nice, very cheap tradable packs if you want to get those done. So, not a bunch to talk about there, but just kind of noting that that is about every single Monday that those are dropping. Now, let's go to the first of our player SBCs yesterday because we had multiple Savio. Remember, this was leaked a couple of days back. And wow, EA just made a, honestly, it's not a bad SBC, but this SBC is specifically for one like specific part of this game in this community. It is for those on lower budgets that need a pacey Brazil winger or a La Liga attacker. That is what this is for. They didn't juice the card up a ton, and that's why he's cheap. 4-4, four, four, high low work rates. He's got the pace. He's got the quick step plus. Um, he's going to be really good dribbling wise. Although I do see 80 reactions, 80 composer, 77 shot power. Like it's not an amazing card. It's not terrible though. Again, with the play styles that he has, he could be decent, but that's why it is uh, coming in on Footbin at a whopping. 38,000 coins. It's just a cheap Brazilian winger, and that's kind of all that it is. This one isn't for the meta teams, guys. It's just not. That is not what EA intended with this SBC, and I guess that's how we have to look at it as well. So it's not one that's going to go into a lot of our teams, but if it's one that you want to get done, go ahead and do it because it is only an 84 rated squad and an inform. It's pretty cheap. Now let's go to the upgrade packs, right? Uh, we'll talk about the other player SBCs later. The upgrade packs, one yesterday is, we mentioned it in the video, I'm surprised that it actually happened, but EA is almost on autopilot now, at least how I think of it, for these upgrade packs, because we have now had the exact same progression on upgrade packs that we did during Team of the Year. We went 83 times 10, then 84 times 5, and then 82 times 20. Remember when the full team of Team of the Year was out? We were so disappointed by the 82-20. That's the same progression that we got just now during Future Stars. And here it is again, repeatable only once per day and with the exact same requirements that still don't make a lot of sense for the type of upgrade pack that you're getting. Yes, you're getting 20 players and you're turning in 22, right? You're turning in two squads to get 20 back. But mm, their 82 rated minimum is what kills this SBC in terms of the pack weight, right? 83 rated squad with one 86 rated player is also a very confusing aspect of this. 86s actually went up even higher on the market yesterday. They were almost 12,000 coins, I believe, at their peak right around the content time because everybody was going out and doing this SBC and it requires that 86 rated card. So 86s went up even further uh, for this. So it's an 83 rated squad and then an 85 with the team of the week, which did make informs have a little bit of a boost around content too. They went from about 20, 21K as we saw on last night's video. They were up at right around 22 to 23K, but now they're back down to 21K again um, with this SBC only being one time per day repeatable. But guys, you guys know with the weight on this pack too, like I got a double walkout out of mine yesterday. I got two 88s, but then it dropped off quickly to 84s, 83s, and 82s. We opened some of these yesterday where it was 80. 889 rated as the face card and then you got like three or four walkouts and then it dropped off and then some of them were like 85 was the highest rated 84 83 and then a bunch of 82 so 
This one, out of all the upgrade packs that we've seen recently, is probably the worst one, in my opinion. And it's 21% upvoted because it's 74,000 coins to turn into these two squads. So that is a bit unfortunate. But it's just, again, we would have liked the 83 times 10 to be back instead of this one, in my opinion. I think most of you guys would agree. It's also way more easy to do just a one-squad SBC than to do two, even though you're getting 20 players back. I don't know. It's maybe just a hassle thing. Maybe we're just lazy. But the one-squad upgrades, like the 8310, 845, are just so easy so that one is there and i'm still probably going to do it because the crafting on the menus is still here guys i mean this is not what i expected at all yesterday i was telling you guys to do the 80 plus player picks because i wasn't sure if they were going to refresh it or not or bring something out that would be good and they actually did something amazing the 81 plus player pick which i thought might require like 11 golds and like five rares or something is only eight golds and one rare again. So you're turning in two extra players and you're getting rid of all the 80 rated cards that you could have had in that player pick before. Now my club, if it's probably anything like yours, is completely rinsed clean of commons and I have a couple of rares only. So I need to go and do the daily gold upgrade. So if you wanna grind the menus right now, if you wanna put in a little bit of time, go do this SBC four times and then you get, I don't know how many player picks is that? You get like five player picks a day, I think from doing this. So make sure you go and do that. It's very easy. That's gonna add up to like. Like 35 extra player picks per day that this SBC is out because once again the player pick is available for a full week so we'll be doing these 81 plus player picks and able to stack them and do them even during the weekend of foot fantasy that is upcoming so this saves the menus if we did not have this man it would be a rough go of this entire week on the menus with everything going out but the 81 plus player pick really really saves it guys it was hands down the best SBC yesterday and again if you want to grind the menus this is the place to do it. Put all of your common golds and all of your rare golds that are low enough rated into that. Get fodder to go and craft any of the SBCs that you want to do right now. You might be like, Nate, there's no good SBCs. Well, the ADA Plus is going to be refreshing um, on Wednesday. So that'll be available. Again, I just started it yesterday to do it for the first time. Yes, we do have some less desirable player SBCs, but you you know, when a craft like this is available in the menus with a player pick like this, it's, you know, makes it worth doing some of those and maybe putting those in the club for a future Evo or just at least doing like the 85 plus player pick, stocking up, even if it's just stocking up on some team of the week players, you can set yourself so far ahead by doing some of those. And if you have the motivation to grind the menus a little bit, that SBC is absolutely fantastic. So GG's got to give credit to where credit's due. That is nice. And that keeps this menu grind going and doable for a lot of us. Now, two of the player SBCs that you might want to craft is where I want to centralize some of the conversation today with the showdown that we got yesterday. First of all, this game is not until this upcoming Sunday. It's a long ways away. The SBC expires a couple days before the game. Um, I'm really surprised that EA dropped it as early as they did. We've got the showdown for the EFL Cup final between Liverpool and Chelsea with Nicholas Jackson and Alexis McAllister. Let's start with Jackson. This is an Really a big upgrade from his inform card, his best other card that's on the game. Four star, four star. He's got the power header plus. He's six foot one. He is controlled lengthy. 94 finishing, 90 attack positioning and shot power. Pretty solid dribbling. Not the best, but again, he's a lengthy player. Controlled lengthy. Solid passing for a striker. 98 heading, 80, 98 jumping and 88 strength with again, power shot power header he's got rapid acrobatic and aerial so this is going to be a threat on corners for sure when you use his card in game shushing dynamic as well and coming in with only a two squad requirement and a cost of a hundred and thirty five thousand coins was actually a little surprising to me that he is this cheap like that's for a prem striker sbc guys and the type of player that he is in game, especially with the Travella meta going away, the finesse shots not being as good, crossing is kind of becoming a little more prevalent, some would say, um, in whatever gameplay mess you would call this game. Uh, this guy might not be too bad for 135k for two squads with the player pick that is out to craft. It's not bad, but it is very downvoted because of who people expect to win this game. And that's where I get into the conversation about the confusion of how the ultimate team community is valuing these SBCs because Alexis McAllister, albeit also a very nice card. Let's do a little overview of the card really quick here. We've got 90 dribbling, 89 passing, and we've got good pace shooting, defense, and physical. He's almost Hullet Gang, and if Liverpool do win, he will be Hullet Gang. Four-star, four-star as well. He's got pinged pass plus. He can play any of the central midfield positions. Got some really nice individual stats here with 91 short pass, 90 long shots, 90 stamina, 90 reactions, like a really solid 
all-round card. Incisive pass, of course, the ping pass plus dead ball, press proven and relentless. Really good card, right? Not an insane card, but a really good one. And of course, four star, four star, Argentinian links. Good card, of course. And again, the live item that represents Liverpool. And the price here, though, is a little bit more steep than Nicholas Jackson and the Chelsea card. You've got an 84 in a team of the week, an 85 in a team of the week, and an 87 rated squad, which if some of the fodder wasn't as cheap as it is right now, overall speaking in terms of prices, this SBC would be very, very expensive. But coming in right now at 220K, it's about 90,000 coins cheaper than Nicholas Jackson, 80 to 90K cheaper than that card. But it is upvoted compared to Nicholas Jackson being downvoted. And I don't think it's being downvoted necessarily Nicholas Jackson because of the value. And I don't think Alexis McAllister is being upvoted because people think, oh my goodness, this is such an amazing SBC. You look at the card itself, 850 thumbs up and 264 thumbs down. It's all around who people think are going to win this game, guys. That is where it comes down to this. And people love showdowns. I love showdowns, right? Because even if you're not a fan of the club that is playing, it kind of Put some skin in the game. It's kind of like a gamble upgrade pack, but for a player because it could get upgraded. And then you feel like, oh, I did this card. I did this SBC. It gets upgraded. Now I have a better version and I got some sort of like deal. You get kind of like that thrill for winning. Kind of, It's like a gamble, right? You you gamble on and you do the SBC and it gets upgraded and you, and you hope for the upgrade. So that's why I think there's a lot of hype around this McAllister. If this card was on the market, like just let's just imagine future stars McAllister. I know he's a little older than he's like 25, right? So he technically shouldn't get a future stars card, but that card on the market right now with one play style plus, that wouldn't be 220K in my opinion. I know Liverpool fans might disagree. I don't think that's 220,000 coins with only one play style plus. Now, may I remind you that the winners of this game, whoever wins the EFL Cup final, will get a plus two rating overall boost. EA have said nothing about special boosts for these cards. That could have been something that they went further on, and that is what would have made this even better. If they would have said, hey, the winner of this EFL Cup gets a plus two overall boost, like a showdown normally does, but they also would give out a play style plus, that would be fantastic. Imagine Jackson, if Chelsea were to win with Power Header Plus and Aerial Plus, or maybe even like Power Shot Plus, any of the other play styles that he has that aren't a plus that could be upgraded to a plus would be fantastic for his type of card. And even for McAllister, imagine this with Pinged Pass Plus and like either Relentless, even Dead Ball would be nice, but Incisive would be amazing and so would Press Proven. Like if they were to add a play style plus to the winner of this card as well, that would take it to the next level. So yeah, I'm a little confused because I don't see this McAllister as good value. But, of course, everybody is pricing in the fact they think Liverpool is going to win. So they're saying for only 220,000 coins, this card ending up as an 89 rated with 85 pace, 88 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 81 defending. Like basically add plus two to all the stats. Then you're like, okay, then it's probably worth it. But even then I have to ask, is it worth that extra coin and fodder input for just the stat upgrade and no playstyle plus upgrade for a card that, you know, you for, you could say this for Jackson as well. You could probably make an evolved version better in, if not right now, then in the near future for sure. Uh, like this one, I guess, with two playstyle pluses with rapid and first touch plus, which wouldn't really make sense for a card like his. But, you know, uh, it, it's there. And you've had Evo versions that will, you have Evos that will come out that will make these cards even higher rated. But it doesn't have the dynamic and all that, blah, blah, blah. So... I don't know. I just think it's kind of a it's a showdown thing with these cards for sure. I think McAllister is not great value per se, but you're paying for the upgrade is basically what you're paying for in the hope of that. And EA knows who everybody's going to favor, and that's Liverpool. So that's why it is the way that it is. I'm not here to com keep complaining about that. I'm just saying I'm just interested to see just like with a gamble pack, like an upgrade pack, an icon pick, or a even a gamble pick that might come out today. We'll talk about in a second. People really like to get involved in do those SBCs because there's some sort of gamble to it. And those showdowns are a way that people in the community like to gamble. And EA knows that. So they put them out and they they price them a little bit higher than what they maybe would have to be because the potential for the upgrade. So enough about that. Pick whoever you want. Do the SBC you want and craft it with the 81 plus And you'll be doing it for pretty cheap anyway. Let's talk about EA's content tweet yesterday, which was really not that exciting. No Evos were listed on here, as well as no League One Player of the Month. That was something that a lot of people were looking forward to. 
Mbappe or Ben Yedder. Who's going to win the League One Player of the Month? We were hoping for that SBC to be dropped this week. Looks like it is not happening unless EA forgot to put it on here, which usually for Player of the Month, they don't. So that's looking like it could be next week as an SBC instead of this week. Future Star SBCs, we had one yesterday. We're going to have more. Everybody's asking, where's Udogi? And there's another card as well. That's still up and coming. I was hoping Udogi would be yesterday. They have to drop it semi soon because that evolution does not have many more days to even the, the, the power up, Future Star Power Up Evo or whatever it's called that dropped on the weekend. That one is like six days or five days to put a card into it. So they need to drop that soon. Also another pundit pick, which we don't have a lead for this time, at least yet. The showdown we already had and then upgrade SBCs. Seems like an SBC centric week especially for a lot of this stuff. But no Evos, no League One Player of the Month is a little bit frustrating, I think, for a lot of us on this game. I guess maybe they want to keep our gameplay um, centralized around the Evos that they've already dropped because there is a lot of games to play there. And also the Cup, right? Like, I got to get into some Cup action today because, again, this Cup is actually really good. You need to do it for the XP for sure um, to get a good start to the season. At least that's how I'm looking at it. And also for the rewards, the rewards aren't bad. This is one of the better cups we've had in a while. You win 10, you get an 83 times 10, some other good packs and picks along the way. So not complaining at all. That's a good gameplay grind. Although it's only out for three more days, which that's going to be unfortunate. I need to get started on those games very, very quickly. I wish that was a cup that would kind of stay into the weekend. But it does not look like that is the case. Now, let's talk market a little bit because I traded a little bit yesterday, not too much. The market was very flat, very flat because there wasn't a whole lot of action. Yes, there's a little bit of supply that came in uh, from the UEFA marquee matchups. But some of the other cards, like or some cards in packs from the Future Stars team too, didn't even drop that much with the supply. Now, I did go out and just risk it right now on a Zyre Emery, who is 1.9 to 2 million coins all day. And I just went out and picked one up for 1.75 on bid. He was just, he just all of a sudden dropped down like 200K. And I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. So we're going to try, maybe try him out. That's a first owner fresh card, but kind of want to try him out per se. And then also just thought that that was too low for him. This happened the last Tuesday as well. If we look at Future Stars team number one, if you remember those prices from last week, these cards all got very low at the end of weekend league rewards. And then it went up a little bit into the week. Rodman at 715, that's pretty low. Lukiba's down because of the center back, Cannavaro and stuff. So there are still prices that are moving and you can absolutely trade if you want to grind it out. But if there's anybody from Future Stars team too that you want to try, today might not be a terrible day to go out and do that. I think some of the prices could bump up a little bit, but I wouldn't expect them to go crazy um, like Team 1 did out of packs just because this team is a lot different than Team 1. In my opinion, the prices aren't as cheap. We'll have to see what the foot fantasy promo brings us on the weekend. But these cards didn't really move a lot yesterday. I mean, Hoyland had a bit of a fluctuation upwards. He could do that again today, potentially. He went from 212 up to 230 and then dropped after content down to 200. And now he's already up to 205, 209. So, hey, there's a chance that some of these could move up if you want to go out and try them out. Um, just kind of focus on the ones that have been moving. Uh, Nico Williams yesterday, who I bought and showed you guys on the on the video, we bought him right here for like 380. I sold him about right here for 440, and then he actually went to 470 after content. But now he's back down at 400 again. And if he was at 420 to 440 for that many hours yesterday, he could very well do that again. So keep an eye on that. Future Stars icons could go up a little bit today as well. Beckham was up at 145 yesterday. Back down to 1.3. I wish I had the coins. If I could pick one up for 1.3, I would do so. He has a ton of hype. Um, Nedved's a little low. Smith is a little bit low as well. So I just think these cards are going to be pretty stable throughout the week this week. I don't see any insane co uh, content coming. It's going to make these cards like crash a lot. No Evos that are coming. That Player SBCs, we already know, don't look that insane. So if you find good fluctuations, buy the card. Like the market should be pretty stable and it should be a good day, good week to trade. I picked up two Joao Felix yesterday for 500k flat. And there are some overnight listers here. I think listing for a little bit too low. It's a trader listing at 535, 534, definitely a trader as well. I think I'm not going to list mine um, any lower than 550 because he goes to 550 every single day. So I'm going to wait and hold off on that for sure. It's all about timing the things, right? Like I could sell that right now and make five, 6K profit if I undercut it like 530 to get the sale. But it's just not worth it for me to get those, those, those coins out there because I know that I can wait. Uh, and one thing I also would stress to you guys is watch Road to the Finals. My goodness. I mean, I, we know these cards are live and they're rare, but with the content and the state of the menus the way that they are after the panic this past weekend, these cards are flying. Now, Guru Ritan, you see on my transfer list because she was one that was still kind of low yesterday. 
she was all the way at 300k and then she went down to 270 so i picked up two at 274 and 272 and now she's back to 320 i just sold one for 330 and there's another one now here. Uh, the cheapest is at 324. So these cards are absolutely flying. The only thing I would say is some of them could be susceptible to a bit of a drop if a player SBC comes out, like um, especially Jimenez, right? The one of the player SBCs that we have leaked right now is Bade, who is a center back, French center back from Sevilla. Like that could be a really cheap SBC, and it probably will be. But that's just that's a center back from La Liga, so it might hurt Jimenez's price a bit, and maybe that creates an opportunity to buy. But if any of these, as you look around, are a little bit low and have haven't risen up as some of the other ones as much as some of the other ones, especially if they're looking like they're going to be guaranteed upgrades, then maybe you could try to dip into that. Like earlier yesterday, Zambo was still like 170 something thousand coins, and now he's 195. Yeah, he was 176 after the content drop, and now he's almost 195k. It's just the rarity and the fact that so few people are actually selling these because they're still live and getting closer and closer to upgrades that their prices just keep going up. So keep a close eye on those. Those could be really good flips and trades if you get on bids and if there's any fluctuations around content, exactly shown with that Gua Retin yesterday. They are absolutely flying. But if you're invested in those, you could keep holding. Now, again, for the games that are happening today, maybe you want to sell on the hype just to be safe. That'd be something that you could do if you want to take the safe route. I'm always down for the safe route because you guys know what happened to Marino, right? He was 80K, went down to 30,000 coins because they lost. And even Javi Simons, he's kind of bounced up right back now. But he was from 420K down to 300,000 coins. So be careful. Sell on the hype with those if you have them, especially for the games today. And uh, yeah, today will be a day where those cards will move because it's a live UCL game Tuesday. Now, also what I want to talk about today is Tuesday content. I don't think it's going to impact the market that much because we know what is leaked in terms of players. And the one thing we don't know about, but I'm expecting is gamble pick Tuesdays, man. I think it's been the last three or four weeks that it's been a gamble pick that's come out on a Tuesday. Last Tuesday, we had the 87 plus group stage winter wild cards or versus player pick. That was pretty easy to do. Two squads, 83 and an 85. The two 87s were a bit of an overkill, but again, it was craftable with the 80 plus player pick. Whatever player picks comes out today is going to be craftable as well with the 81 plus. So that'll be nice. If you want to get invested for it, what should you invest in? I mean, 83s or 84s would be the most inviting investment, in my opinion, if they were going to do something like that. If they require the exact, if it's the exact same player pick that gets refreshed, 87s could see a bounce. I mean, I know they're already up, but they require two 87s in a squad like that. People are going to go and have to buy those. So you could see a bounce in 87s as well, even though they're already inflated. Like Odegaard's 15K, right? And what was he on Sunday? He was 12K before the icon pick came out Saturday. Even he was 12K even lower. So yeah, it's up, but it could go up even higher if that same player pick with the same requirements gets dropped today. It's a big if, but I think it's not an if. I think it's a fact or can't say 100%, but I think it's very likely we get another sort of these player picks today. And then of course, everybody's waiting on it. Where's you doggy? Where is he at? Where's the SBC going to be? It's either today or tomorrow, in my opinion, guys. It's going to be one of the next two days since EA leaked it here. I really hope that they're, like, scrapping this SBC. or I really hope they're not scrapping the SBC since they leaked it in the Evo menus. If they were to do that, that would be, like, a terrible decision, EA. Don't do it, okay? Drop this SBC still. Thank you very much for all of us that want this. There are so many people that want this card for Prem teams, for the Italian links, Spurs fans. This is going to be a really, really solid left back. And I really want his SBC to drop. That's why I've kind of, I started the icon pick yesterday, but that's why I'm kind of not attacking it and getting it done like ASAP because I got five days to get it done, right? I won't do it before it refreshes probably. Um, especially if Udogi comes out, he is priority numero uno so he can put him into the Evo. I know a lot of you guys are wanting that SBC. It should be coming in the next two days. Same thing with Bade. He could be either the next three days. Technically, Thursday could be a day they drop a player SBC as well. I don't think, I think he's going to be a lot like Savio. Don't think he's going to be expensive. He's going to be cheap. He'll be a decent upgrade. La Liga French links, hopefully solid, and maybe make some things move with those links or maybe some substitutions like to the Jimenez dropping a bit. I don't think it's going to be a crazy day today, guys. That's why I picked up the Zaire Emery. It's kind of why I went for it there. I kind of want to try his card out because it looks cracked. And a lot of people, I think, will have that same mindset today, playing the cup, maybe playing rivals, getting their champs games in, or just checking the menu at content because they're not wanting to play the game a whole lot right now, which is completely fine too. It's going to take breaks. It is. I'll be honest. It's going to take breaks. It's going to take a breather when you need it. And I think that's where a lot of people are at with this game right now.
anyway so i'm not going to make the video any longer with that in mind thank you guys for watching the videos thank you for all the comments on the videos yesterday's video video before that appreciate all the love on the channel that you guys continue to show and support even when the content is in as everybody says the dead times right now on this game i'm gonna go try to get a couple wins and champs very fast before rewards we'll open those tomorrow on stream that link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there but we'll be trading trading with the zyre emery and of course a lot of other cards trying to make some coins and just seeing what ea dropped and crafting through the menus this week on this game if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account i'll see you guys in the stream today peace out